Hey guys, welcome back, it's Maverick here today with episode 26 of Shaman King. And yes, I realize that I am about like one episode behind and whatnot. I'm very sorry guys, like work has been, you know, completely swamping me throughout these past few weeks. Uh, I will try to catch up sometime in the future, perhaps even next week, but no promises as of yet, right? I, I'm still trying to work my way back through my backlog and, and so on and so forth. But uh, in any case, uh, so last episode, we do have Yo coming out and explaining the Full, uh, history, at least as much as he knows about how and you know the relationship with Dosakura family, right? So the next important question is, what exactly are they going to do about it? And I do think, um, I do recall actually that this is probably what they're going to discuss next in this episode. So let's just get right into it. All right, let's begin in three, two, one, play. This is probably the Dao family. Yep. Ah, yeah. This. Ah, oh, look at mom. <laughs> she looks fine. Yeah, I remember this part. The meeting between the Asakuras and the Taos. Two prominent, like, um, shaman, shaman families of China and Japan, respectively. And hey, we are actually already on episode 26 now, so are we going to have an opening change next episode? I believe Shaman King is slated for 52 episodes, so I think it should be possible that uh, we get an opening change, like for the second half of the anime. He's a typhoon. Ah. Hmm? Oh. Oh shit. No. 
It's called the path of neutrality. Which Ren, you should be very familiar with, considering you have a Chinese background. <laughs> Heck, it's the entire concept of Taoism, actually. Uh, the philosophy, not the religion. Ah, here we go. 1.2 million. If you guys remember, the biggest that we've seen so far are a few thousand. Well, at the very least, uh, Yo and Hao are similar in one way. They're quite carefree in how they take things. I like how you guys are the minority and you say that they are acting suspiciously. <laughs> That's why I need you guys, not you. Yeah, it is quite an interesting concept if you think about it, right? You know, uh, the typically in a lot of these shonen works, right? The tournament is like one of the most important things most important like arc. In fact, it is in many cases the deciding arc of a shonen, right? And here they're just flat out saying, no, no, they're not gonna win. How is going to win the tournament? Just like that. Gramps is just like this <laughs> he's basically like this idiot I mean like even 
I don't even consider it a spoiler, right? We know that he's gonna get his ass kicked. Considering... Well, we've already seen how much Yo has increased his power once he got his hands on that technique. Oh, we're entering this arc now. Okay, okay. Oh, that's actually quite quick. What kind of introduction is this, right? Uh... <laughs> of course, Ren's gonna get pissed. Who wouldn't be pissed at this kind of situation? Uh... Ren has his own pride, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't be Ren. Abandon doubt, you abandon growth. Okay. By the way, the, the sort of sword that uh, Ren is using, it's styled in sort of what we call the uh, the Taoist sword, right? Taoists are a sort of Chinese shaman. Um, and the swords that they utilize when they're doing their, their various spells and whatnot looks like that, what, what Ren has. Although, not exactly, like, ex uh, not exactly extendable and retractable, though. <laughs> like... Yeah, definitely get a feeling like who is strong, who is weak, right?
Now you would have thought that he would actually. One thing that I that I never really uh, understood is why they didn't just take the actual name of an actual, you know, general. I mean, they already made the the reference to. Uh, to Lee, right? Okay, that translation wasn't a good. Basically, Ren was calling him out for not being able to to kill Hal. That's why Mikasa also got a little bit angry. I actually don't remember this part. <laughs> oh, really? So a hundred times that. <laughs> so that's why I was saying, you know, guys, just come, all come at me at the same time. And honestly, like the power creep is unreal, isn't it? Um, when we started out, like the first time we saw them measuring their Furuku and whatnot, it was literally like in the hundreds and whatnot. And now we already have the end boss of over a million.
If anything, I feel bad for his wife. Yeah, the kanji there basically was the same as what he said there. But anyways, see you guys after this. All right, Mikiza makes his official uh, appearance here. And well, his first appearance in front of Ren and the others isn't exactly well received, right? Now, the funny thing here is that while I was reading this for the first time, I actually had really mixed feelings about this and didn't really know which side to take, right? Because on one hand, you know, you do kind of feel like, hey, Mickey is, is clearly here trying to do something to help Ren and the others, right? Um, even though it's not fully explained here, I think it's it's kind of obvious from what we can see that uh, the Asakuras and the, ha and the um, Daos made some sort of agreement so that, um, you know, the Asakuras would, would basically uh, teach their technique, right, their secret technique to, to the others, and they would help together and bring down Hao, right? Uh, sort of like an alliance of, of the other shaman families or, 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 you know, important shamans to all work together against Hao. But you know, it should be a good thing, right? And yet Ren is having none of it. He's just way too stubborn. He's like, why should I, why should I be willing to, to, um, to accept that your technique is better? Why, and you know, who are you to act all high and mighty and say that you're going to teach me and so on and so forth. You know, on, on, on one hand, you just feel like, dude, you know, can't you just uh, let up a little bit and recognize that there are people stronger than you and you can gain, uh, you know, you can improve yourself by, by listening to others, by incorporating some of their techniques and methods and, and abilities and so on and so forth like why you got to be like this right but on the other hand you also do kind of feel for it for Ren right um you know, we, we've always been saying about how you need to fully believe in, in what you believe in, in in order to have an impact and in order to, to mean anything within Shaman King. And so you got to you got to admit that uh, Rin, especially with that that ending part there, like I, I will not father. I have not faltered. Right. Um, you know, you, you got to you got to think that, OK, that that's you know thumbs up to him right even though he's getting his head beaten in he's getting his he's getting completely crushed he's still like no this is this is my way of doing things this is my way and and i will only accept things my way and, and so on and so forth you know stupidity or or admiration for his courage or admiration for his willpower you could take both sides right now personally i'm still leaning more towards the former because i just feel that you know to a certain to a certain sense, it doesn't matter what you believe in, you know, facts are facts, you know, the fact that you are completely outmatched is, is still a fact, right, and you need to accept that, and so on and so forth, but, I mean, um, I, I actually quite, don't quite remember, like, how exactly this, the entire situation res was resolved, but, uh, you know, it's just, it's just an interesting mashup here. It's just an interesting thing. And, you know, it goes on back to what Yo was saying about Mickey being very uh, stubborn himself as well. And by the way, part of the reason why he's being so rough with Ren was, again, uh, I feel like they did not fully um, 
they did not fully uh, emphasize that point. But basically, Ren was actually calling Mickey out by saying that you know he's a failure and he shouldn't he he does not have any uh, authority here because you know he failed as well, right? Mickey failed to to uh, stop Hal, you know, because of his you know uh, you don't with Ren you don't know how much of this is just out of of uh, out of spite, you know, out of out of his own pride or whatnot. You know, you gotta gotta um, gotta uh, fight back, you know, with with words or whatnot to to sort of like gain an gain advantage or so on and so forth and how much he really uh means that right knowing ren it could be possible he he actually truly believes that um mickey was too weak and that's what caused how to to escape and so on and so forth but you know that's kind of beside the point here but anyways a uh, very interesting clash uh between these two one clearly outclassed but still um managing to to keep their spirit you know and keep their willpower right which um, but I'm not gonna spoil anything. We'll, we'll just see in the next episode how this entire situation resolves itself. Uh, beyond that, um, what else from this episode that I wanted to talk about? Uh, I guess the, the concept of the entire the tournament, right? I talked about this a little bit within the episode as well, but definitely it, it's taking on a pretty unique angle here, right? Um, knowing from the very beginning that, hey, this tournament, it's just, you know, it's just here for formalities. You know, you're not really going to get anything out of it because you know we are going to accept that how is so overwhelmingly strong um then then all the others that you know this tournament itself is meaningless right he will win hands down um you know no questions asked so what exactly are they going to do about this right and what does this sort of alliance between the asakura and the how and the taos and indeed within the other shamans what does that actually mean if anything right well uh that's Indeed, what we're going to have to learn, uh, starting from the, the the episodes going forward, and trust me, the episodes going forward are going to be quite hectic, I feel, uh, with multiple storylines going here and there and everywhere and so on and so forth. In fact, um, if, I, if memory serves me correct, we're going to enter into an arc that is already you know, quite unexpected, I would say, in, in a lot of ways. Um, and it's going to lead up to uh, one of my favorite arcs and the arc that I'm really, really waiting for that I mentioned from the very start of the series, right? The, the arc between uh, Yo and Anna and their, their origin stories and, and so on and so forth. And I reckon, you know, just by ref estimation, maybe we're about five or six episodes away from, from that particular arc. But uh, all I can say is these next few upcoming episodes are going to be really, really important and they are going to form the basis of, you know, the, the actual fight against how, if, uh, if anything. Because, like, right now, you know, while we are in a tournament, it didn't really seem like too much of a tournament and now that we know how's true situation, right, it, it, it becomes even more clear that there's no real meaning in, in trying to actually win the, the Shaman King tournament because nobody's gonna win unless something miraculous happens. Uh, and by miraculous, I mean, like, somehow how's power gets, like, halved and halved and halved and halved or, or something of that sort, right? So, um, but still, that is something to look forward to, and, um, you know, it is a pretty unique way to, to go about the entire storyline and go about the entire tournament art, and so, again, that's, that's also kind of one of the things that I do like about this and how it's, how Shaman King differs from your typical shounen tournament art and whatnot, uh, because it has this other layer of, of, um, I wouldn't say death, but, but it's just, it's just, uh, you know, having this other layer of, of things to consider while you're fighting within it, right? Um, but yeah, in any case, um, things are going to start getting really hectic from here and we are going to, you know, I, I'm interested to see how well they, they adapt it, right? Because even a manga itself, I would say, uh, suffers a little bit from being too all over the place at the same time. But, you know, we all see. We shall see. So anyways, that's it for this episode, and again, I will try my best to, to catch up um, and um, get to the latest episode as well, maybe sometime within this week, but you know, maybe sometime in the weeks coming after. So, but in any case, thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.